America today. You know what I mean? Yeah, being a straight white male has a lot of downsides. Facts. Alex, you want know to talk to us about being a white male? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, you're the whitest of us. It's like every day you wake up knowing that like some people have a problem with you. And yeah. it's just like a, a problem that no one else but white, straight white males have. Yeah, nobody else hates a group of people like they hate straight white males. We should start a podcast about this. Oh, yeah. That would be a good idea. What? I don't think it's ever been done before. Yeah, I don't think it's ever been done. What would we and call maybe, it? Maybe we should invite women and like ask them like what their body count is and kind of shame them. Oh, okay. Kind of like make them feel bad for being women. Yeah. yeah. What else, what other oh. fucked up shit can we do? Um <laughs> <laughs> You guys genuinely start thinking about it. Welcome to the Null Thought <laughs> podcast where we berate, misogynate and obliterate. We hate <laughs> our, not just women, but everyone, <laughs> including, including ourselves. ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alex. <laughs> I'm Anthony. I'm Zane. This is the Null Thought. <laughs> Oh my god, I'll do a great Too many stuff. intros. We're just like in an endless intro for like 30 minutes. <laughs> we we did that joke once, and then we never stopped doing it. Because <laughs> I feel like we've never like probably learned how to break the loop. We're yeah. just in our, in our own <laughs> little <laughs> acid tunnel of an intro. Oh no. We're perpetually introing <laughs> oh the no. entire episode. <laughs> my worst fear has come to light. You never stop tripping. You're tripping right now. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it's like as soon as you got into my house, you've been singing that song. And all I think is Smoke on the Water. I don't know what. It's just a bass line, man. It is like the beginning of Smoke on the Water, though, basically. But yeah. I wasn't thinking of that when I conceptualized it in my head. Who did? Who does Smoke on the Water? Um, Deep Ed Purple. Hardy. <laughs> is he par Deep Purple, I think? Oh. Deep purple, like this fucking Back Kush check. we got. Fact check. Like this, uh, <laughs> smoke smoke on the water owner and manager producer. Jamie, get out of the cage. Why aren't they called D purple? Purple D's. What is that? Purple D's what? <laughs> you can't I, even do it with You have to ask <laughs> them. I don't know. All right. What but, do we have on the menu? I want to okay, first, wait. I want to talk about Armored Core. <laughs> they had what a game. is Armored Core? Don't. <laughs> so basically, so it's basically it's a mech game in which you fight other people. No, but uh, <laughs> Armored Core they just released their uh, like the gameplay trailer uh, mm. for their game, and it is I will admit it's not as fast as I was thinking it was gonna be. Like fast paced. Yeah, it's not as fast paced. It's not the Armored Core four like fucking holy shit. Where the fuck am I? Everything's blinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. It's definitely more like the the Dark Souls kind of like movement pace where it's like there is like uh like an arguably fast positioning around like different mechs. And I think that's cool. I, I see what they're doing with their whole like how they're taking the Souls like mechanics and implementing them into the game. Like what? Like what Souls like mechanics? Uh, it's really just the idea of like boss size, uh, and just like the idea that you will be fighting these larger scale enemies, uh, okay. and like in a mech game, that's <coughs> fucking awesome. Yeah, that's cool. It's it's a great idea. I don't know. I'm just excited for it. Three months. I feel like every time we get really excited about a game on the podcast, it, it turns out to be just like man. it turns out to be Armored Core. Like in the end, what's the last game we got excited about? I think Dying Light Two. Um, Dying Light Two was pretty fun. I think we've talked about. Uh, CS Go to or CS Two? Oh sorry. yeah, a little bit. I'm hyped about that one. I really, I'm, I am hyped. About I've been that. playing a lot of CS Go recently. Yeah, you have. Yeah. You, have you hit global yet? No, I'm MGE though. Okay, damn, dude. I feel I'm so close to DMG. It'll be good. It'll yeah. Be what good. was your uh, What was your previous peak? Legendary Eagle. So okay. I'm, like, I'm like two ranks away from my peak. And okay, then you okay. get hard reset at CS Two. Yeah, but I'm okay with that. You know. At least I could say. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a screenshot to prove it to yeah. my friends and family. I got to do a final grind before it gets fucking thrown away in the trash forever. Dude, so. I respect it. <laughs> For CSGO 2, what are, like, give me a couple features that you desperately want to be into that game no matter what. Oh, um, I don't know. I just want it to be modernized a lot. Like, playing Valorant, um, it's such a smooth experience, like... I, I don't know about you guys, but like whenever I alt tab out of CSGO, my computer like takes a fucking shit. Oh, dude, and it takes like that's by and design. Like, and yeah, and it's like 
other games are also bad, but a lot of other games are really good. You know, you just tab out, you do your shit, you tab back in really quickly. But like CSGO, it's like <laughs> tab out, wait 10 minutes for your screen to go from black to white to back to normal. And then like wait another 10 minutes for it to open back up after you click it again. So I just want the whole experience to be like a lot smoother, like the systems and everything need to be modernized. That's yeah, it's thing. it's still running like what source one yeah it's on the original yeah. shit and it's got like some like overlays on top of it to make it pretty you know and there's some like obviously newer models and stuff that are nice but I know, um i know yeah. that uh cs is the like the one game where it's like if i change my video settings i have no idea if i've just bricked my entire computer it's like <laughs> yeah <laughs> you want to change your like screen resolution and just everything freezes for like three <laughs> minutes yeah and it's like i don't want to touch anything i'm just i'm especially gonna go find if you're, a corner especially if you're in game and then all you hear in background is <laughs> <laughs> like you're getting shot in the head like 30 million times over and over and over again <laughs> And it's the worst experience in the world. It's like, just change. Just change. <laughs> Resolution, please. Like, but it's just uh yeah. And um, but I'm really excited for like the smoke changes and everything. I think that's like it's like a big rock, paper, scissors with the nades now. Mm. Because like, you know, smokes counter mollies and now H E grenades counter smokes. I was about to say HE's counter flashes and <laughs> that'd be wild. But um, <laughs> But, but yeah, it's just like, but and that I think is that's really neat really, because it gives really... you the option to not have to wait that fucking forty seconds for a smoke yeah. to go down. That's well, also, huge. Also, with the the way that bullets interact with the smokes, it makes like spamming way more punishable. You know, so oh. yeah, because you can see exactly where the bullets are coming from, yeah, like exactly. what kind of direction, especially if they're closer. Because the closer you are to the smoke, the larger the bullet holes oh, are. Oh, okay. so it's like yeah. So you can also see distance with that. Yeah, that's interesting. It's it's an info oh. game now, and that's amazing. Yeah, I don't know, like. People were clowning on it because, like, Overwatch 2 or whatever. I think I brought this up, like, last time we talked. But Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2 wasn't really, like, a big change when people w wanted, like, a lot of big changes. Yeah. Nobody wanted, like, huge changes from CSGO to the next CS. It was 128 tick servers, which we're not getting, I don't think, <laughs> sadly. Sad. And, um, and there was another thing. I forget. New but, smokes. We got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but probably just more attention to the game in general, which yeah. I think they're going to get with Yeah, CS2. I don't think CSGO needed any any additions. It needed no. improvements in the areas that it already had. Yeah, and minor I think tweaks. they focused on that. Yeah. And it's great. Especially with, like, beautification, just making it look good in general. No, like, they fucked up. No. They've already fucked up. They've done... The you way mean. they thought of CSGO and the idea of, oh, we gotta re-beautify these maps. No, you've ruined visibility, you fucking dweebs. Um, Stop I think booting nice. up your NVIDIA GTX <laughs> 3090 so you can look at trees. You're I playing mean, no, CSGO. Get, go, shoot the dude I game. get what you're saying, but I, I think in CS2, there's a big like focus on visibility so it's yeah. like there's the you get the beautification because there are problems like that on some of the new maps where it is very dark in some corners so you like can't see shit and that's because some of, of like the modernization it yeah, may be but like also not really because it's it is kind of like you know you should be able to see them despite the map you know unless you're playing like a fully dark map or some shit. That would I don't be know. a cool addition. It would be CS. interesting. I, I've there's it's never really been done. I Daytime feel like rotation. Q uh, comp like, at four a.m. and get nighttime map. I think that would be interesting as like a gameplay mechanic, having like light actually play into, uh, like your positioning or there could be like a junction point, but like one of the uh hallways or something is super dark compared to the other two. Yeah, you could do something like that, or you could just do like a corner that's well lit. But it has like poor visibility or like a darker corner. Yeah, I feel like I light. Know, something like that. I feel like light in like I, I guess the idea of deception in uh, the idea of these tactical shooters. I feel like no one's really capitalized on that in general. I feel like you have siege where it's like okay, you got to move around. There might be some dark areas that you can hide in, but it's like I feel most, like most of the maps. Yeah, are I know, super bright. What I'm just trying to say is, yeah. just like most of the map is just determined by like how well can you see an enemy. And how well can you shoot them from a position yeah. that they might not be expecting? You're just your objective is to kill the enemy. Yeah. How you go about that? I want to see like, is there like a fucking uh, like an overcast shadow that creates like a nice enough dark spot where it actually somewhat conceals me, like reasonably so. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It. it, it I do see what you're saying. Like it does. It creates an opportunity to make the maps a little bit more interactive for gameplay versus them just being like background set pieces you know where you have just new lineups to learn or new crosshair placements to understand or whatever 
So like I, I get that, but um at the same time, I think it is important for like fairness or like competitive play to like not have um at least but have glaring it, visibility issues having specific parts of the map like this is dark spot yeah, you know what i mean I'm like something saying, like, like that it, it <laughs> like, be, it'd be called dark he's spot in, or he's shit. in void <laughs> yeah void yeah he it, like it, it can't be a random element of your game yeah if you want it, it to yeah, be competitive it be it, you any aspect like that can't be random that's why i mentioned like the hallway scenario because it's like that's a part of the map mm -hmm. that it yeah. just has low visibility like maybe it's a, a hallway that's underground or something that's kind of like a um like a passageway to get to a spot that you can't really get to easily up top and then there it's just like a trade-off because it is darker my main point is i think i'm just i'm complaining over the fact that those maps don't exist as much as i feel like they should oh yeah that's what i'm saying it, it would be cool to see if anybody valve pull it off mm. because i feel like the smoke uh change is something that's pretty pretty creative like i wouldn't yeah. have even thought to do that doing something volumetric with smoke although it seems like such a like how oh, is no resource is, waste? <laughs> no, how has like nobody else done this yet? Yeah, you know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, no, because like I'm trying to think of any other game that has interactive smokes in the same way. I can't really think yeah, of one. The, the I think the idea is that in gaming, everyone's always viewed like smoke is a wall. Yeah, it's true. Instead of being like an amorphous like blob like entity yeah. that kind of can interact with wind and shit, it's like it's just it's a wall. Oh, actually, Arma. Really? With smokes. Yeah, because think it, so? Well, depending on the wind change, it affects oh, okay. the way that the smoke blows. Yeah, not as so in-depth like, as it's not, the yeah, smoke, no, it doesn't, like, yeah. it's not like shooting through makes bullet holes, but it is a little bit interactive I with think the world. Battlefield okay. did something like that too with the wind. Did it? Maybe, maybe. I, I know they I, did I like, like bullet like was, drop and shit like that. I don't know about smokes. Yeah, gun physics, they've always been pretty uh, detailed on. I feel like uh, with the like the way people implement smoke grenades in the games, they either like they have it where it's like wind is always affecting it somehow, some way, where it's like you throw a smoke grenade, it's like all of a sudden the smoke trails off and it's like trailing in the wind. I feel like that's just part of the animation. Yeah, um, it could be part of the animation. Yeah. Well, if it's like a smoke grenade, mm -hmm. you kind of want it to be in a specific spot that you're throwing it. Like you want the smoke to cover the spot that the smoke grenade releases the gas at yeah. Yeah. so if there's wind or anything you kind of have to pay attention to that so it changes gameplay in a minor sense but I, yeah. you, at it, some it point it just sucks. becomes too much to pay attention to it kind of sucks in that regard because there's no way to control it it's like yeah. you have to either get like a good placement or if like that placement is not possible then you're just fucked in a place well, where you could have used a smoke yeah. grenade to be fair, I think that really only exists in Arma, which I think is a military sim. So it's like not really focused on like competitive gameplay in that They're about sense. to take a note. It's mostly just realism. Yeah. yeah, they should. Arma Four. Every game should take a note from CS if they could. Yeah, very true. Actually, uh, it's it's good to see what your successful fucking games do and how they change the industry. But then too many people are like, let's do exactly what they're doing. Yeah, we need a new. We need that gimmick. We need that gimmick in our game. Speaking of doing exactly what they're doing, have you guys heard of uh, Blue Sky? Yeah, uh, I always read it as Blue Ski. I <laughs> do too. <laughs> what What is Blue Sky? Who it's, and like who's doing this? It's uh, I don't know the name of the CEO, but it's basically just another company that's recreating Twitter. It's like and, backed by Jack Dorsey yeah, in one way or another. Yeah, uh, like I think he has like he put he gave them like money or something. Like I think investment. he donated, but I'm not sure if he actually has role in like the development of it. Oh. But it's basically like a Twitter clone. Yeah, from like the the legacy as in. And a uh, year and a half ago, maybe I don't even know when Elon Musk took over, but yeah, it's been a while. Do you basically guys, a reset? Do you guys think that people hate Twitter enough that Blue Sky will succeed? People are already like fiending for the invite codes because that's the only way you can get on right now. It's in the like closed the, beta. Yeah, right. Of so, course, like, it, there's people <laughs> in like replies <laughs> to uh, notable, famous like meme pages and shit. They're like, "Please let me into the discourse." <laughs> it's tough because, like, you know. Twitter already had like a big audience built into it that like even despite Elon taking over, people still visited the platform all the time. They're like it's kind of but like he, fucking Apple. It feels like you're yeah, integrated a little into bit. the system. But um, Elon's been making some changes to like the verification shit and like or like he he like took away everyone the check like, mark thing. Yeah, he took okay. away like everyone's um. Dude, I could rant so much yeah. about all the shit that he's done on that so godforsaken he, website. Hey God, about the verification thing though, he took away the verification of like everyone who like hasn't paid for it. So like any celebrity that has been previously verified from Twitter is now like not. Whoa. And so like unless they pay like the eight or eleven dollars a month or whatever it is, 
and um and so like there have been like people uh impersonating celebrities obviously again Let's fucking and go some people someone even like spent a thousand dollars to impersonate disney yeah, and like disney <laughs> yeah and um and <laughs> no, tweet they, like some crazy shit i think i think that he just got it did he yeah oh, i okay. think that because of uh, like how little they actually look into who they're verifying they just gave them it right like oh dis instead of just being like a notable famous person yeah disney like, lo- do- location florida okay yeah, yeah, yeah. they literally are like disney junior uk no one would impersonate disney <laughs> junior uk and then they gave him a fucking gold check mark I, I i could be wrong on that he could have just like yeah. applied for it and they're like sure you look who good knows, enough. yeah it, it, but yeah and so like he's a lot of people have been like junior (laughs) a lot of people have been shitting on the app because of that but also like i don't know a lot of people have been shitting on it since elon took over and they've stayed on it so it's hard to know twitter has always been a cesspool that has never changed i mean it's been a cesspool but now it's like i I it's definitely worse yeah i i feel like i can't go on it as much I, the thing is for someone like me who spends a lot of time on twitter i knew it was a cesspool before yeah. but like i actively don't like going on it because like just randomly i mean i follow a lot of like left wing or uh democratic hmm. politicians and shit but i still get like a fuck ton of right wing stuff just out of nowhere yeah, and yeah. I, have, like, a oh, yeah. Account with like 60 followers i know for sure i know for sure that i should not be getting any fucking like twitter <laughs> political anything on there but it's crazy how i'm like keeping up to date with like fucking news <laughs> <laughs> it's like what my twitter feed should not be telling me anything about the news it right should now. be only ass <laughs> <laughs> no but it, it's it's horrible and like like you said the I think it's because of the verification thing. When you pay into it, it boosts your profile views. Like, Let's go. It causes like more people to see your views. And there's so many like conservatives that are complaining like, how am I getting all these views and all these little likes? I must be <laughs> shadow banned or something. And it's like, no, it's just being shown to a bunch of people who don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's it's basically all about the verification now. It's like both sides are complaining. It's like people who don't uh have verification or complaining that like they're not getting any sort of bump in in uh yeah. or like they're getting too much on some occasions but then like <laughs> people who have verifications they are complaining that they're not getting like any uh like views or likes or interactions they're not getting like any sort of visibility so it's like what is the point of any of this dude do, do people just forget about twitter after this i feel like nobody that's why i brought I up blueski blueski <laughs> Yeah, because it's basically like a Twitter clone. And I feel like if it's enough of a clone, people will go to it. And I think it's like there was Mastodon or whatever. That was like an open source Twitter. But I feel like people are going to be kind of skeptical of that. I think Mastodon, isn't it like a bunch of private servers or something? I don't know. I don't know too much about it. Besides, It's 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 super decentralized or whatever. There's like a main server that like everyone or anyone can att- uh, connect to mm. and like interact with or post on oh so it's and then there's discord? like base like basically honestly okay. but like a discord message board discord I twitter i don't even know if there's dms on mastodon i know there's not dms on blue sky they're they're missing like a lot of features because they're in beta but yeah, yeah they don't even have a block feature yeah. yet but like the look of it and the way that yeah it, you can the way that it's set up is just so much like twitter in yeah. in quote unquote the good old days <laughs> We're bringing back our old glory. <laughs> Blueski. going to return us. <laughs> I think it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens from here on out because Blue Sky is like, people are genuinely trying to get on it. Yeah. And like notable people I, from Twitter. I looked at it. I didn't realize it was closed, but I didn't join like the email wait list because I was like, I'm definitely not going to get in on that shit. It's yeah. super long. At least not yet. And I don't care enough to do it. Like, I want to just say that this is just like escapism. Like, we're running away from our Twitter problems by like, oh, blue sky, blue sky. But that's just, that's how the fucking world works, yeah. I guess. It's like, what do you, well, like, what Twitter do you do itself, if Twitter sucks? You Twitter, leave. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I think it's going to be a very slow death if it does end up happening with blue sky because mm. 
it's going to be like Facebook where everyone just slowly finds other alternatives and then like Gen Xers get really obsessed with Twitter oh. and then it's just going to be <laughs> yeah maybe Facebook actually and we're going to be the Twitter generation <laughs> it'll turn into like truth social basically it already kind of is like yeah. truth social dude there's like, some insane <laughs> tweets I know and the, I feel like they're much more plentiful now it, yeah. when Elon first took over I was very scared of that happening but it didn't really happen until all of these verification changes well, also, he, like a year later, he unbanned a bunch of people. He unbanned like actual Nazis and shit yeah. that used to be banned. Who like, uh, I don't know if you guys know what Stormfront is, but yeah. it's like a it's like a Nazi publication. And it's oh, like, cool, that's they, true. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, dope, that's awesome. But like, I'm glad he's looking up for free speech. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's just uh, it, he like unbanned like a bunch of people that were like. Nazis are like Nazi affiliated and it's and just, so okay it's so, kind of changed a lot of also the, like actual ISIS members from like really the ones that aren't even using Twitter anymore <laughs> and they were banned from like uh the time when ISIS was like actually a main threat to us more active well, yeah. why we are essentially just beginning now to segregate further the left and right by like just making them like fit into their own little echo chambers at this point and it's yeah that's so fucking terrifying it always happens though like think about like reddit as yeah well. it, ha- it happens fair, naturally yeah. just on social media because it's like you know there are a lot of right-wing freaks or whatever and there's a lot of normal right-wing people as well but like when you're on the internet you know and you're like a normal person not right wing or left wing or whatever i had a that doesn't make you normal, but you know what I mean. Like if you're just if you're just a normal if you're an average person and you fucking see some dude type some crazy Nazi shit, it's gonna make you feel weird and it's gonna make you probably not wanna be there. You know what I mean? And it yeah. people react to that. And so like the Nazis get banned, and then because of that, some right wing people get banned too, because sometimes the things that they say are a little Line similar. Blur. You know what I mean? They do li- blur a little bit sometimes. So uh, you know, it's just like then those people get banned. Then you know it, there's like a big pendulum pendulum swing. It's like it, it's any fucked. any extreme adjustment that we take will be met with like equal like like even if let's say in this theoretical world that if the left wing were to absolutely genocide the right wing, <laughs> and it's just an entirely world filled with like left leaning individuals, mm. there'll be people within the left wing who are like. Oh, that was a little bit too extreme. Bam. <laughs> Instantly, two sides, once more. Yeah, some people would think that. Maybe like two or three. <laughs> no, but yeah. that, that's just goes that goes along with like the idea that politics isn't binary. Like it's an entire spectrum, like 2D plane, fucking 3D, yeah. whatever the fuck. Like it's it's not as simple as we make it out Your to be. Your enemies are relative just don't fucking have them. <laughs> well, it, you have to deal with it on a person-to-person basis. Just just because a person that you votes for likes these kinds of ideologies doesn't mean that you support all of them either. Yeah. So it's like, if you take the concept of the right wing or like Republicans or conservatives and you split it down pe- by people who like this and dislike this, it, it, you, and then you could s- separate that party even yeah, more. Yeah, you could endlessly you, fracture yeah, it. It, it's basically like a super task going down forever <laughs> until you get to just some guy named Greg who just really hates taxes. <laughs> Emperor of the universe, last human alive. <laughs> <laughs> Propane worker. <laughs> yeah. My politics were true. Dude, I also see like way more crazy conspiracy shit. Like, um, on Twitter? Yeah. There was this, there was some guy who was tweeting about, um, how. Saudi Arabia has like uh, this fucking giant called like a Nephilim or something. <laughs> a Nephilim, like a yeah, fucking Nephil- a god, uh, a fucking uh, a demi human. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a cross, like a, a crossbreed between an angel and a human. I think something, like, something that. like that. And it's like, what? and they had like a picture of like a giant throwing a spear through like American soldiers or something. And it was just Whoa. like. <laughs> And they were like summoning demigods, dude. They were like, you guys are not prepared for this conversation. <laughs> and like, I saw a little bit of that on Twitter before this Elon took over. But propaganda. I saw like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> and they're saying, you know, all of the evidence was wiped from the records and shit. And it's like, okay, have you, dude. Have you Yo, seen Christianity the... 2 is getting wild. <laughs> <laughs> Crusades 2. Have you, have you seen the tweet of like the, uh, it's, it's just some random fucking 
late night history channel bullshit where it's like y'all aren't ready to talk about this one and it's a picture of the pyramids with a cutout <laughs> in the ground and it's just like these long ob- obelisks yeah <laughs> and it's like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> what is the what's the point yeah, <laughs> like, what, are you, what are you going to talk about whenever i'm ready when you see it you're gonna shit bricks bro. <laughs> when you see it you'll shit it's just people are absurd the human mind is incredible and <laughs> i think it's an interesting phenomenon now that twitter has this verification process that's going on now because a lot of the people who have like super harebrained and crazy takes are probably the ones that think it needs to be heard the most so they yeah, buy definitely. twitter yeah twitter blue or whatever the fuck it's actually called and then they it, their their um, tweets get put on just their amplified Greg's timeline. <laughs> you guys <laughs> need to fuck? know this. The government will stop me in 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> then you're about to have 30,000 Gregs believing in the Nephilims in Saudi Arabia. Like, I God, spend $50,000 so you can see this. <laughs> <laughs> and then they get banned for actually doing some. Well, they go a step too far, even for Elon. And then the, the 30 Gregs that follow them are going to be like, yo, maybe he was on to something. What do you even get banned for on Twitter now? Talking shit about Elon. Elon and Tesla, like I, I saw, this, <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, there was a statistic that came out recently that was like, um, since t- uh, Twitter was taken over by Elon Musk, the I don't I don't remember the exact statistic, but like the number of hateful messages has like literally doubled. And yeah. I know one of them was talking about uh, hateful remarks towards transgender people, but that's also just of the time that we're in because there's a huge culture war about that shit now. Yeah, there was like that tweet about the. He was like literally asking a question like, um, oh, yeah, if you guys shields or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. If you could um, or like, do you think we should kill transgender? I don't know if it was transgender people people, directly, but it was like, yeah, the the people people that helped them. Yeah. It was like like doctors, psychiatrists, parents, anything like that. Should we just kill them? And like a ton of like yeah, everyone in the comments. Like, yes, 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 yes. It's so crazy. And now if you fucking like all of them just got deleted, like ripped from the Internet. And now if you post the screenshots of that on Twitter, the screenshots get deleted. Oh, wow. So like they're like keeping it quiet. It's really weird. Really cool about that free speech thing. Very odd. Here, I think I found the. The statistic. Oh, thanks, nice Jamie. Hey, well, yeah, you could probably look it up after, but I, I did see what you were talking about. I'm curious how they measured that. That is, you know, that's no because it is that is uh, important. That's insane. Yeah. That's I mean, actual th- insanity at work. The thing is, measuring a statistic like that, it has to be based on bias because there's going to be people. There's no like definitive definition of what is yeah. like a an actually hateful message because someone will be like, "Oh, it's just a joke, bro," or someone will be like, "Oh, it's not that hateful." That's why people yeah, who will it'd get be mad nice to see anything. the because they probably had like an algorithm scrubbing for certain words, yeah, uh, like within uh, however many tweets in a certain amount of time or whatever. Which That's, in that case is, I think that would be enough evidence to say like it's gotten much worse. Yeah, like it's, if you narrowed in on certain like slurs or like certain um certain phrases or something, then yeah. I think it would be good. But yeah, it all depends on like what words they're grabbing the twitter you know? employee typing in the like words the. The search. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys think that if we were to live in a world where all conflicts were settled personally rather than uh, the idea that like all all death by like killing of another human being was settled on a person to person basis rather than being having others sent out on like an agenda like if we have mean, like a 1v1 dual honor system like fuck no that would so be you horrible put them in a coliseum yeah just like no. we have we have beef we settled this problem because <laughs> I, I think it's like any two people who have a disagreement one of them's dying <laughs> yeah that's fine but would you, <laughs> well, in, in, hold up would you rather have it be okay i'm going to send uh 10,000 people to attack your city uh, good luck. Oh, you're saying yeah, like okay. that. You're saying wars. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's oh, a good point. conflicts between countries. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, that's not person to person then. No, oh, I mean, I'm I just, feel like what, I'm just trying to use like, it. I'm just trying to use it to like set up like in this world, every every conflict must be settled this way. That's the only reason. I don't like every like, conflict because like I not think every like, conflict. Like, I'm in, saying, like, like if you are if the end result would be that someone needs to die and you have like resolved yourself for that decision. Then you have to use this method. <laughs> well, like, I feel like that really only applies to war. 
What is it? What else does that apply to? I don't know. Just like regular murder and shit. I guess. That would be like you think like if sword. if someone murders like someone else, that family should be allowed to nominate someone to fight the murderer that's and just yeah, the Hunger Games. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. That I think seems, that's fair. I don't know. I, just throw them in prison. It's like, like a weird trade off because it's like. Every time you have a disagreement, you get executed. You like, have to. Death, you have also, to, it depends. It all depends on the, that, the 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 matter in which you kill the person. I'm just you know? saying that First, you have to live third, in a world bro. that plays by some set of rules, right? And if you set up the rules like this, every encounter has to be like up to a certain, you know, like within a certain threshold of understanding, to, like to employ this rule. I mean, how would you even do it on a on a war scale, like country by country, do they just nominate somebody? Uh, I just like wh- whoever is the Your direct best con- warrior. If you, ha- if oh, okay. like, yeah, <laughs> think of it like this: if you have a direct conflict with someone else, you have to like. I don't know. No, I because why would you send a representative? About. I think it should be you who yeah. goes in, if right? If you're the one starting it, the war or <laughs> wants the war, you should be the one to go and then it, 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 initiate us at the very least. If we feel so inclined to avenge you, we'll send one more dude. <laughs> what, <that's> just, <laughs> you're just reinventing war. No, <laughs> we'll just keep sending dudes, bro. <laughs> it, it's just only send one dude at a time. That's how to minimize the the cost. The, of we life. should just fight wars in single file lines. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to step out of line you can that's the thing yeah, you have what, to agree to do it that's a really fucking like weird <laughs> interesting scenario <laughs> but it's like what else, what else do you like i don't want to send ten thousand people to die i'll send maybe six it's like after a <laughs> game where you guys line up to like high five each other yeah and, like, <laughs> It's like, good game. You killed six of my best <laughs> men. <laughs> You're just shanking them as you pass. I mean, that's so weird because, like... <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, how do they go about solving something? I feel like the problem is going to telephone into something completely different by, like, the fifth person. Yeah, there'll also be, like, tons of people, like, forming cults trying to convince people to be like, dude, this guy died because... Wait, does, whatever reason. does this mean I could challenge the meter maid to a fucking duel and murder them and get my tickets and you resolved just, <laughs> you start like a lineage of fighting this person's family like you have to send your son I'll after. take it <laughs> that means we get the park for free <laughs> anywhere as long as we kill your bloodline park here Fucking the meter maid <laughs> bloodline yeah. head ass meter maid dude I've gotten so many goddamn parking tickets it's ridiculous <laughs> I've gotten somebody Did I tell you guys tickets? somebody broke into my car. What? Oh shit! Yeah, when? I I was well, I was parked no, downtown. No, you don't talk to us. I was parked downtown, and I fucking uh, what's it called? I was leaving uh, Sydney's house, and I just walk up, and my fucking window is wide open. Oh no! And it's just the thing is, is like my window like smashed or. Well, my window was like folded in half, like on the ground. I swear to God, like I picked it up and it like dropped and it was like my full window. And I was I was like, whoever broke this was like a fucking like spy or he something. Just, like, he pulls up with like the G mod. The physics. literally. Yeah. Like they removed my window. I imagine they dropped in on a helicopter and they like you know, <laughs> they repelled into my car yeah, window <laughs> and they cut like a neat outline of your window. No, literally. Literally, I. But like the thing is, is all I had was like dead vapes and pens in there. Oh, so like <laughs> they, got, they got a bunch of those. So I know for sure that like the dude just like ran home was like yes, vapes yes, <laughs> fucking smacked him, <laughs> like dying. And he was like, okay, that one was bad. What about this one? <laughs> like just every vape. And there was like four or five of them. In there, so. Hey, at least he didn't like steal your radio and shit. No, that was good. Yeah, I, I I got I was pretty lucky in terms of what they stole. They must have not had many tools, despite like <laughs> wind. Despite being, despite able, being able to, yeah. The window. <laughs> oh, that was insane. Does but I got it replaced. Didn't the next steal day. any parts or anything? No, not that I. Damn, can you tell. got fucking lucky. Yeah, I did. When my car got stolen, I also had like nothing in it. But <laughs> like the only thing I had in it was like maybe a bottle. Of water Damn. in the back well, seat. My car didn't like, get stolen. It just got broken into, like yeah. right on the street. I so. imagine well, that, like, I was lucky then. I imagine that down that street, if you like look up and down, there's just like a, a series of dropped windows along the way. I think mine was the only one. Well, no fucking. Yeah, way. I think fucked. so. Yeah, there's like some critical error in your yeah. car's manufacturing. Well, no, I think 
I think what it was is I like one of the vapes was in my cup holder or something, and they might have saw that. And they're like, "Yo, yeah. like, who?" I think like that was that's the one, only dude. thing that comes to mind. That that fiendish because I had nothing else, and like my my seats were like folded down in the back. So dude like, was probably three seconds with no Nick. Yeah. That he was definitely yeah, like that, that was a, that was just a college student <laughs> like, on his way home from class. Wait a second, is that a vape I see? Using his degree to his <laughs> yeah, fucking... he was a mechanical engineer. <laughs> <laughs> he studied my my car's make and model, found the weak points. That was very uh, when my car got stolen and broken into. It was like very ham fisted. They like smashed the shit out of my radio and like they hot wired yeah. my car with a hot screwdriver because it was like a bunch of marks. There was a bunch of marks <laughs> in my console and everything. And then <laughs> when I got it back, there was like a fuck ton of bullet holes in the side of it. I'm like, Jesus. what the fuck happened to this car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They the reason that every uh, I think the police found it or maybe the city of. Uh, City of Redacted. <laughs> but the reason that they found it was like it was collecting parking t- tickets and no uh, one ran the plates for like six <laughs> months. They were just giving it more tickets. It's so like, do you, do you, they have a system, right? That like tracks things, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and it works great. Trust who knows, the, what, who trust knows the if system. they actually use it? Yeah. Trust the fucking. The bistum. Dude. Anyway. Would you guys want infinite dick skin if you could? What do you mean? So, okay. Imagine a world. No. (laughs) No. Imagine a world in which your dick looked normal, but you could stretch like your foreskin infinitely. I'm fucking Mr. Fantastic. Like elastic, basically. Yeah. This is every day of my life. (laughs) Isn't that your penis just flaccid? Or I can keep going. You can keep going. Like, because, like, well, this all inspired... doesn't her. hurt. No. <sighs> so, hold. The only thing that would happen is that society could potentially look at you like a freak, mutant piece is of shit. Can you? I chew it like yeah, it's gum only you. and be fine? Um, you would feel it, but it wouldn't hurt to stretch. Yeah. That's what you mean. Yeah. I, like you would feel it. It depends on how hard you bite. You know what I mean. Like you can okay. bite. You can bite your hand and not have it hurt. You know what I mean. You could chew okay. on it and not yeah. have it hurt. But it's just you know. I don't know. I've never bit my my dick skin before. Yeah, I've never gotten mine bitten either. It's not good. No, I mean I've never bitten <laughs> my dick skin, dumbass. <laughs> you could only feel. How how else would I know? Well, you could. You're the one setting up the world. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, would you take it or not? All right. This came because <laughs> I wanted to wrap myself in my foreskin <laughs> like a big, Was this heated, a like, like a dream, big yeah. heated blanket. No, <laughs> like a burrito. Because heated blankets suck. Okay, <laughs> they're crispy. You got they're hot flaky, one night. And they're this bad. Is what, you come up with. <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I take it. Okay, next question. <laughs> What is the downside? None. Society looks at you like a freak. But not if they don't know. <laughs> what happens when I get hard? Oh. Um, can you can still hard? stretch it. Oh, can <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking this shit. What do you mean? There's no downside. <laughs> this is the W dimension. <laughs> or when it's hard, it's sticky. <laughs> oh, oh, let's see. It just, it just pulls made like me taffy. It. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you got that taffy then, dick. <laughs> when it gets hot, it melts too. Like it oh, gets a little longer. Can like ev- when you, <laughs> yeah, it, in the summer it droops a little bit. Yeah, in the summer it droops a little. Bit. Can everyone stretch your foreskin, or am I the only one? Your skin is just naturally like that, so anyone can grab it and stretch it. No, so is, like he, the, is yeah, he the only one? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, like yeah, you're the only person in the world with so this I'm talent. So I'm a god in this world. Yeah, I just <laughs> yeah. have a superpower, dude. <laughs> my, my super dick. Thanks, dude. Wait, hold on. The the stretching thing. <laughs> like your dick doesn't hot? get longer. It's just the skin on your dick that is stretchy. But you're so you're saying <laughs> as long as I have the blood to fill the vessel. Well, then there's no point. <laughs> there's no point. Because, like, why would you want extra skin? Her blanket. Like, her wings. When you, when you, <laughs> <laughs> the parachute. It's like an emergency. I'd rather glide with my ball skin. Thank you. It's like an emergency knapsack, dude. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Actually, stretching it's your like ball an... skin to infinium is like I think a more interesting Dude. thing because then it's just like a to go blanket, but you have the risk of like sitting on your balls, like wherever it is. Floating around you have a in literal the turtle shell hanging from your leg. But it's like just... a it's like a uh, <laughs> it's like a landmine. You're like a flying it. squirrel. <laughs> 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 just ball skin. As long as you stretch it from the back, you're good. Oh my god. You have full control. <laughs> <laughs> fucking totally parachute with that shit. Dude, you're like fucking Link in Breath of the Wild. Someone needs to make that a mod. <laughs> oh my, no. Stretchy Please. ball Link. Welcome to the <laughs> Null Thought Podcast, the maturest podcast on the web. Someone make the Null Skin th- Paraglider, Null Thought Schmoss Nest. <laughs> It has the NT <laughs> branded into the nutsack. Ugh. Oh my. <laughs> when you first thought of that and you put it down in the topics <laughs> list. Yeah, where were you in your day? Yeah, well, I know that? exactly. I was in bed with my girlfriend and we were watching TV. <laughs> you went, <laughs> Damn, the remote's kind of far. If only I had infinite dick skin, I could, yeah. <laughs> that could manipulate Like a sticky it. hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, if it's sticky, that could also be pretty good. It's like a pretty, it's like a better sticky hand where you just go, yeah. or like a lasso. Like a frog's tongue. Dude, in, you have rope. You could just climb anything. <laughs> it's all just about we're perspective, th- guys. Yeah, we're not thinking about this <laughs> enough, actually. I'm telling you guys, it's more of an interesting hypothetical than you're giving credit. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, great topic, Anthony. Thanks. No problem. So what is bullshit month colors? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. It's one of those things where uh, when you were in elementary school, like when you get, when you guys had the <laughs> folders for oh, spef- specific classes, dude. Everyone like, tries to associate kids with colors and shit all the fucking time. No, that's, that's why December is blue. That, that December is, is blue. That, you said kids with colors. <laughs> you didn't say months. <laughs> Twelve year olds are blue. <laughs> no, 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 no. Never mind. People are always trying to get kids to associate colors with things. I think I don't think it's. A, an intended association i think it's just like they like pretty colors because they're always like bold or they're it's just like, like a fortnight staple blue yellow red you Expl- know explain to me why three is yellow three is yellow in my in my brain too i don't know why <laughs> because people three is yellow in- or green Okay, you know what? It's a yellow greenish. I, I can get there. I can get there. Yeah. How do you guys feel about two? Yellow, yellow two greenish. Blue. Hang on. Uh, no. Yellow two, greenish two is, is blue. No, I know one is red. <laughs> one is not red. Yellow greenish is blue. What? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Hold up. Oh, yellow no. green yeah, exists. No. You no. Yellow and blue make green. <laughs> I blew your fucking mind right there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Oh, green and yellow make like brown. I think in green light, yellow make it orange. Different. Or chartreuse. Gr- You're thinking of chartreuse. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so months. <laughs> Three is chartreuse. No. <laughs> January. Um, it's like a dark blue. No, no. I'm thinking. What? I don't. I associate January with like no color, actually. I don't know why. It's, I could see it's it as like a start. White. Yeah. Yeah, I can like see a, a gray. white. I, I feel would like do a gray black. is a more accurate color. Chartreuse. No way. I always thought chartreuse <laughs> yeah. was like a reddish thing, but okay. Uh, I've only ever yellow. seen that color in crayons. <laughs> <laughs> they have a chartreuse crayon. Yeah, Dude, it's like if a they have sixty four of them. They got yeah. 128. They got 256 Dude. megabit crayons. In kindergarten, when a motherfucker broke out the 128 crayon Dude, box, I fuck. I stepped I went back. Psycho. I didn't fuck with I bowed. Them. I went psycho. <laughs> I pissed. Three wolves. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I could not break whatever bodyguard that they had to get a hand at those crayons. They have the toughest motherfuckers in the room. <laughs> they had the biggest kid next to him. <laughs> <laughs> the kingpin of third grade. If you had the crayons, you had control. Mm. If, you had, <laughs> if, if you have cr- the crayons, you have control. If you have the crayons, you have control. 30 million <laughs> kindergartens. Cr- yeah, kindergartens. Repeating this chanting. mantra all like <laughs> cross legs. <laughs> February is definitely pink. <laughs> N- or red. Mm. Yeah, I go red or pink, red or pink. I, like a I pastel see them. Like pink. That's, that's like Valentine's Like a pastel though. pink. Yeah, I see Kinda like weird, the... but I guess I can agree. I can half agree. What do you think? A hot pink? Just red. I thought you said pink. Well, I said red or pink. No, because... Like, I, uh, I guess, yeah, pastel pink. Think about it. <laughs> yeah, pastel. fine. Pastel pink. It's not that pastel. 
February, <laughs> February has to be red and pink because think about it. It's the month for the, love, the couples the and the singles. Love. So you need you need two colors. The singles. Yeah. yeah, red and pink. Who's, oh, what's single? I didn't know red. That. The, how's if red you're single, single, you associate February with red. Is that like a likely. thing? Who? Yeah. Why? I didn't know that. I feel like I heard that. When I was young and never internalized, You're ma- it. he's making this up. No, li- it's fucking. It's literally fucking color association. That's all Roach it is. Roach milk. It's the most subjective shit in the goddamn world. Oh, well, you're the saying first place. you said people. <laughs> That's what I thought you were basing your opinion off of like a study you saw or something. Oh. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's the way that you phrase it. That's all. March is light blue. March is green. March oh. is green. That's springtime. That's green time. That's it green also, time, baby. I I see it in my it green. Also, doesn't March blue, have St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, green makes more sense. True. April, I have no idea. April, April's uh, pastel purple. I feel like or yellow. I'm thinking me. pastel yellow. <laughs> Easter. <laughs> you can't just do it based on the fucking holiday. I can do <laughs> what I want. Ooh, fucking July is red, white, and blue, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> maybe if I was a fucking eight year old, I'd be like, yeah, maybe December is. Um, I, I, what was it? Maybe December. But also, I only know December. <laughs> April showers that. bring May flowers. That's all That's I true. know. That's true. He's spinning gray. <laughs> April's gray then. What? April's gray. <laughs> okay, the rest of them are gray. <laughs> gray. <Chartreuse>, gray. Turquoise. <laughs> hose. Mauve. And we end the year with Don't a you. mauve. <laughs> What's mauve? <laughs> You've got a real opinion. No, what, what month what, is mauve? No, what, ask yourself what month is mauve. October. No, right next to my face. Orange. <laughs> orange. <laughs> no, I hate orange now. Now you I can't. hate October. <laughs> Look what you guys have done to me. What the fuck? You've made me associate something I fucking hate with something else I'm rather hey. fond of. <laughs> rather fond. <laughs> I don't know which one I like. I was trying to think of the word that means um oh apathetic. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> I'm all I'm apathetic to certain colors. <laughs> yeah. If you say that like seriously in any sentence, you're automatically labeled a douche canoe. That's like a kindergartner statement. No. Okay. But in- I'm apathetic to yellow, but I actually really love blue and green. <laughs> it's like you just learned that word. Hold the idea Literally. of like months and colors though, I more commonly associate numbers and colors rather than months and colors. I don't associate head. any numbers with colors. Oh, what is fair. the number two hundred and seventy eight? Uh, that's probably like a it's neon like a, it's porn like a grayish blue. <laughs> what did you just say? Porn.ge I don't, Pinkish I don't have the okay. Nice save. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the color vocabulary I require to tell you what. Just what fuse them, bro. Yeah, just so you yellow. Yeah, you so heard me say porn. <laughs> <laughs> hit you with the porn. I, I told you it's like a grayish blue in my head. Oh, a grayish steel blue. Steel blue. It's like a like Halo Steel Blue, like a muddy muddy color. I don't know, muddy color. Yeah, you're just going off vibes now. Mm. It, yeah, it's a little scroungely. It's, <laughs> it's like I have a really like the cover of a Kendrick's the album, the one, oh, yeah. the green album. Like a yeah, like, <laughs> it's, it's just like olive album. green. Yeah, with a little bit of piss. Yeah, it's a little it. pissy. It, that's just like the texture. It makes it look a little lighter oh, in yeah. some spots. It's, it's like scratched up. Or something or other. I like that album. I thought that was a good album. I think it's funny that he just dropped it because LeBron James said, hey, I need new music. <laughs> really? Yeah. I didn't know that. And he probably had it planned to release, but he probably decided to release it anyways. I heard that LeBron it was LeBron like, James. It was like B-sides yeah, it is. Uh, from the one, the album before that. It's still great. Um, I <laughs> Every time I go to work now, I am met with... it's. I, I measured it for like two weeks now. Every time I go to work, I always at one point in my like 25 minute commute get ridden ultra hard by a truck that's like three oh times my, my car size. Is, is it like, the same license plate? No, it's not the same truck, okay. but that makes it worse yeah. because it, it's like, how does this happen every time? Dude. Like, I want to be uh, individualistic about people who own trucks, but it's just so easy it's the most popular car that. in America. You've, it's so dumb. No <laughs> one needs a car that fucking big. You've timed your commute with the generic NPC spawn point. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking truck spawn as soon as I get off the freeway. You just gotta leave like five minutes earlier, some five minutes later, I, and I want to try that. <laughs> yeah, get but ahead of the spawn. It's a different truck every time, but it's like <laughs> they ride me. Yeah, it for, just pulls it's, from like a giant dude. list of truckers. Yeah, there's a spawn list. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got a rare one today. <laughs> I don't angrier. 
I don't get people who like ride so fucking close. It like makes me want to freak the fuck out. I know because it's like if I have to stop for any reason, I'm getting hit and I don't know what to do. I can't go like 95 that you want me to. Yeah. Or they're like forced to slam on their brakes. And it's like, why do you want to slam on your fucking brakes? Like, why do you want to be riding the brakes the whole time? Like, just ride your fucking ignition. Mm. We're in like standstill traffic, bro. (laughs) Treat your car fucking right. Don't, Don't be angry at your car. What the fuck did it do? Yeah. No, they're like, if I fucking, if I, if I touch this gas pedal, I'll go home faster. <laughs> yeah, and there's like someone in front of me who like I'm having, I'm having to ride because the dude behind me is on yeah. my ass. And they're and fucking everything like, up. I and then there's to, people cutting be... everyone off. Yeah, like... there's, dude, that's another thing that pisses yeah. me off. There's some dude in like a Nissan Altima going 99, dodging and weaving through traffic. And then there's a, there's a truck following him. There's a truck pulling up 90 behind me. And I'm like, it is 70 miles an hour. I'll hit 80 occasionally, but like, I'm not going, <laughs> I'm not trying to hit a hundred. It's like, why do you want to get to work so bad? That you need to do this. Is yeah. it just a habit for people? You're like probably this? just late. I'm Fucking genuinely curious. If you are listening to this and you drive like an asshole. <laughs> And maybe you don't think you drive like an asshole, but if you hit any of these check marks. <laughs> I don't hate you. I hate the way you drive. Are you less than a car's length away from my ass? Yeah. Are you fucking not signaling before you switch lanes in heavy traffic? Are you being a cunt in general? Okay. Any of those three. Are you driving <laughs> under an angry influence? Dude. Are you driving under any influence? Yeah, road rage question. in America is crazy, especially Texas. Yeah, like, people get Wait. killed in Texas over road rage a lot. Yeah, because like, everyone's like fat ass. Guns. And that's fucking. <laughs> that's dope. That's a whole shit. population thinning itself out. God damn. <laughs> no, it's fucked up. Uh. Yeah, no, that's messed up. That's, bad. that's horrible. I mean, it's just. I, I think it's just the culture there. Everyone's high blood pressure. Yeah, and then they have the the arms to back it up, or yeah. the mentality <laughs> that they have the arms to back it up. They yeah. have both. If they don't have a gun, they have a gun like in their brain somewhere. That Texas, <laughs> that Texas attitude, the Texas ego. They don't yeah. have a gun; they have a bat. <laughs> I want to talk about the future of morally competitive business. Oh, you want to inter- talk about that? I was interested in this one. Oh yeah, what what did you want to talk about? Well, he he it was his topic. No, uh, what did you want to talk about with it? So well, really like the way that I interpreted it <laughs> was like like. Uh, companies who virtue signal or whatever like people trying to have the best virtues as a company image and that sort of thing and like how they're competitive or they're competing for that image now rather than you know necessarily profit seeking yeah so, I, I, I don't know that's how I understood it when I originally created this topic I was thinking that like the in the future of capitalism we have to seek a value beyond like money i guess we need to have some intrinsic value that we are then trading right and so about to reinvent bartering yeah then it's like in in what i thought to be an ideally realized world we would have a morally competitive business the idea that we are trying to be the best person so that way people will buy from us because they see that we are being the best person and so you have now then that competition between trying to be the best person we it's kinda, like that is the most subjective fucking thing, but the people will determine who is the most morally competitive. Yeah, well, that's kind of a tough thing. I, I see what you're saying, and I I am kind of interested in it too. But it it's basically like something that we've always had, at least the baseline of. Because if you put out like a revolutionary product, or you're doing like a revolutionary service, or one that's like really good. Um, people will want to use your service, not only because it's revolutionary, but they want to see what else you can do, how you, how you can improve on it. But the problem is like they're, everyone is so focused on consumerism and like, and nowadays how to make the most money and like squeeze the last coins out of anything. So like that, (coughs) that, uh, the value, the moral value that comes intrinsically with a lot of these products or services basically either gets washed away or completely thrown out the window i mean i honestly i think that fundamentally the problem with this is that the people don't have enough money to determine like there's not enough money that 99 percent of the people have access to to properly fund like to the extents that we require the thing is like we kind of have that with the stock market but that is kind of going in the same way as the general scape of business because everyone is so focused on just making the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. 
they're not really concerned for longevity or like uh, they're not as concerned about putting out like the greatest product or service possible. Yeah, we need like just a new generation of companies to come out and just be like, hey, we are here for the long run kind of thing. And then <laughs> well, if they gain traction, hopefully they're fucking proper. The problem is like there's not like that all is. of uh, all of our funding in America, at least that goes towards these businesses goes towards like bigger businesses, the ones that don't really need them. So like smaller businesses that actually are trying to be those morally good businesses and corporations, they just get swept under the rug or they like they fail because a they're just under disaster. the thumb of someone else all the time. And it's just, yeah. Know. Well, it's like they're they're What's It's up? impossible to compete with. Say there's like a, a, a new superstore that's trying to be like a grocery store, convenience store, whatever the fuck like a Walmart is, but a smaller and more morally good uh, there's a more really good smaller Walmart trying to compete with Walmart. It's like you you you're yeah. not going to get the same kind of prices at this yeah. good Walmart. That is odd too, because yeah, it's like if once you start franchising and start expanding, you don't control what happens to your businesses while you're not there as well. That's basically so it's just, it's where tough. the thumb is. Also, like you know, the market wants what the market wants. It's not really, and it's not really determined by like moral goodness. Usually, you know what I mean. Like there, are, like. What I was saying earlier, like how I was interpreting your question, I feel like kind of goes into what you were saying in terms of like, I think that there are now like companies who are trying to invoke, oh, absolutely, who are yeah. trying to invoke a moral image. Like this is whole, definitely not like, an original idea. Like Bud Light with the whole, well, it's, that, that's not the point, but like, um, this fucking Bud Light yeah, shit, dude. like the Bud Light thing with, um, uh, Dylan Mulvaney or whatever. You know, that's like a it's a virtue signal, like saying, like, we support trans whatever. And that's, you know, it's saying virtue signal. Like sometimes people use that as like a pejorative, but it's really just like it's a thing that happens. Everybody virtue signals all the time. It just depends on what type of virtues you signal. You know, a lot of people, especially conservatives, you know, signal virtues of, you know, property protection, uh, you know, traditional uh, family structures and shit like that. And, you know, other people virtue signal for other things but it's like companies now are trying to like reach the widest audience possible and like morally virtue to every possible demographic you know to show okay, like so it's some kind of support happening. cool well it's happening in one way or another but it's not out of a desire to be like more morally actually, right it's, yeah, actually, it's out of a desire to make money you know mm -hmm. what i mean because if they do have that perception then they they do see some change in that because in a way, some people do care about that stuff in a way i see that then probably <clears throat> as like a necessary evil if the corporation itself must be uh blinded by not necessarily blinded but like be focused on money and they see that in order to do that, they need to virtue signal. And yeah. that is a necessary evil in my mind. I thought I wouldn't well, really even call it an evil because people look at it with a very critical lens because it does have to do with like a marginalized group of people. But in general, I think it's like, how do you advertise to a certain group of people without virtue signaling like that? Yeah. You know, it's like you want uh, like trans representation and show that you support the movements and everything. You're well, like, what else are you going to do? Like, that's what you would do. However, I feel like it becomes a negative when you're doing it just for the face value of it. I think you if you're going to be using like these marginalized groups of people as like a prop to get them to then buy your product, <laughs> you should be doing something in support of them, like donating yeah. or doing literally anything other than just putting a transgender person on yeah. your commercial. That's the line where I call it necessary evil. And that's why I, I had brought yeah, that's it up. Fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I think it's just um, like no company is just going to do it out of the goodness of their heart unless the system itself were to change, yeah. you know, like to be something other than capitalism, which, which is inherently profit driven. We're basically gridlocked because of the situation, because it's like I think a majority of the public does want to support businesses that are morally righteous and show that they're more morally righteous. But the biggest companies in the world right now are absolutely not morally righteous yeah. and there's literally no way that we can like earn enough money to be able to leisurely spend just a little bit more on something that you know we we know that we're supporting they do like you know that it's supporting something good they do like marginal things you know like walmart will have like the fucking you know donate a cent to ukraine or whatever the fuck you should you know? be doing that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> but like yeah like i'll do it the waltons but... <laughs> are insanely rich but you know it's um 
They're like, look what we're doing with your money. <laughs> we're allowing you the opportunity to donate. Fuck yeah, that you. thing that you could have done already. But also, to be fair, once again, it's like if people are not provided that that inconvenience, the option of donating that one cent, like guaranteed that they wouldn't collect 90% of those. Yeah, it's more money than, than not getting any. Yeah, so, so it's like, like fuck, it, I, I hate you, but damn, you could have done a bit more. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't really think to donate otherwise. Like yeah, if that yeah. message pops up, it just reminds me not only to donate, but that I hate Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess any grocery store that does that, but. I, Walmart is just the Depends. example that came into my mind. Yes, yeah. some are smaller. You know. it, it's a it's a real big trade off because it's like you are supporting through this thing because you yourself have not supported, and it's like I I can say that I'm sorry I haven't donated. I don't. I press no a lot to, of times <laughs> uh, because well you know, I'm more focused on myself. I'm selfish right now. Give Do me the, want, give man. me that chance. If you don't have the money to donate, you shouldn't donate. Yeah, yes. give me time. I wish to be selfish right now. Yeah, uh, but. Yeah, it's like, unless I was provided with that inconvenience of like, oh, donate one sign, I would be like, I'm less inclined to, or I'm more inclined to donate than, than I originally was. So it's like double-edged sword of, I now have the opportunity at more points of my life, but the overall effect is less meaningful than it could be. Yeah. I like the roundup strategy that a lot of uh, yeah. pay services use. I do that a lot. This has been the Null Thought Podcast. Donate to your nearest charity. <laughs> Donate to good. your nearest Walmart. <laughs> if you can. Donate to the Waltons directly. I'm Anthony. I'm Zane. I'm Alex. Squat when you swipe, when you wipe your ass Bow. because it cleans better. Bow.